parts of a chemical equation. A chemical equation is are basically symbols that we use to represent chemical reactions. So they're just a representation of chemical reactions except using symbols instead of actually seeing the chemical reaction. So for example, 2H2 plus O2 yields 2H2O represents the interaction between hydrogen molecule plus oxygen gas molecules to form water molecules. Now there are different parts of the chemical reaction. First is the reactants. The reactants are the starting substances in a chemical reaction. So here, for this chemical equation, these are the reactants. And these are reactants. Then we have the products. So we have this arrow here indicating yields. So yields something. So when these two interact and react with each other, that's why they're called reactants, then they form products. The products are the substances formed as a result of the chemical reaction. For this chemical reaction, we only have one product, which is H2O. So this is just going to be our product. But sometimes there can be more than one product. Then we have coefficients. It is a number placed in front of a term in a chemical react equation to indicate how many molecules or atoms take part in the reaction. So what this is saying is that there are H2, there are two H2 molecules. That's what this 2 stands for, 2 of the H2 molecule. And here, this is telling you there's two H2O molecules there. And if there is no coefficient listed in front of a, an, a compound or an atom in a chemical reaction or chemical equation, it just means that the coefficient is 1. We usually don't write 1. So for this reaction, the coefficient for oxygen is 1. Then we also have subscripts. It's the number placed on the bottom right of a chemical symbol to indicate the number of atoms present. So here, this is showing me that I have two H's that are com chemically combined together, like this, H and H. So this just tells me that when I have this coefficient here that there are two of these things. And H2O just tells me I have two oxygens combined with one oxygen, and this coefficient tells me there are two things like that. So we have to remember all these parts of the chemical reaction, chemical equation, so we understand how the chemical reaction works.